Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg, proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. Or perhaps not. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. Our kind has suffered needlessly for generations. Do you also seek peace among the Myconids? I know the feeling well. What has driven you from home? You were infected by an illicit tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Mrs. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside her head, but she hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis. That's impossible, but intriguing. Are you looking to have it extracted? I have broken free from the Elder Brain's yoke. I no longer serve the grand design. I ask that you refrain from violence, while I respect that your opinion of my kind may not change. A collective quest to eliminate the Gith and enslave all other humanoids. If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. As the Meloan's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete. As should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. I can only theorize, but I suspect your transformation would be both agonizing and instantaneous. I thought it was always agonizing, Amelium. Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. No, it appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. It is not ideal. The process would surely kill you. But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. A nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Of course, I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. But I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. 
There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. I do not intend to shatter its protection. I need only bypass the interference that prevents me from communicating with the lava. A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh tongue of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. The Underdark, of course, although they are quite rare, and their discovery perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. The Southwest, when I last saw her, although her tower does have a tendency to move. She is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Uh, nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Her experiments on Sousa Bark took priority. May your travels be safe and swift.